All right, so this is a uh, application of net torque problem for a grade, grade 12 physics class. The cable in the problem right here will break if the tension reaches a value of 1500. What's the smallest angle that we can make um, without breaking the cable? So we've got a beam that has a center of gravity there. Its weight is 1500 newtons. Sorry, no, its weight is 1050. We've got a sign down here. Its weight is 500. There's an upward component of the tension in the cable right there. And one more force to label. And then that's over here. And this is the one that easy to forget about. At first glance, it looks like there's only three forces in play. Center of gravity from the beam, the weight of the beam, so the weight of the beam, the weight of the sign, and tension. Uh, but there is a force acting upwards in the corner. Okay, holding everything together on that side. So there's an upward component to that force and a uh, X component as well if we need it. So I'm going to label those four forces in play, F1, F2, F3, and F4. And now I have uh, one full equation, two unknowns. So the sum of my forces, my net force equation, is not going to be any help. So I'm going to go straight to my net torque equation. Everywhere there's a force, there's a torque, but at the pivot point, torque is zero. F2 has a torque, call it torque 2. It would make this rod rotate clockwise, so it'd be negative. F3 has a torque called torque 3. It'd also make everything go clockwise, so that would be a negative torque. And torque 4 would be up and rotate counterclockwise. So when I write it down in my equations, it would be a positive torque. So my net torque is going to be torque 1, plus torque 2, plus torque 3, and then fourth one. So 0 equals 0 minus the center of gravity from the beam is 7.5 meters away from my pivot point. So I should make that clear and label that my pivot point. Okay, so all my distances are measured relative to there. My rotations are rel measured relative to there, whether they're positive or negative. get stick to the same color. So 7.5 times the force. The force that's acting there is the weight of the beam, 1050, minus F3, which, or torque 3, which is the distance from the end, which is 15. Its weight is 500, and plus 15 meters times F4. So the tension in the cable is pulling upwards, and it's 15 meters from our pivot point. Okay, switch colors now and make it a little clearer. So 0 equals negative 7.5 times 1050 is 7875. 15 times 500, 7500, and plus 15F4. So I'll work that out carefully. Negative 15. 15375 uh, plus 15F4. So dividing, uh, bring the 15375 to the left side and dividing it by 15 gives us 1025 newtons as our upper component of the tension. Okay. Okay, that's not our final answer. We're trying to find the angle. Right. So looking at our trig, there's my upper component. That's 1025. There's my horizontal component, tension in the cable, which I don't know what it is. There's my tension in the cable, T, and that's 1500. And there's my angle here. Okay, so I have enough information just using trigonometry to figure out what that angle is going to be. So looking at the sine of theta equals would be F4 over T, the way I've labeled it in the diagram. So sine theta equals 1025 over 1500. So do that division and do inverse sine. And it's the inverse sine of 0.683. So inverse sine that, and you get 43 degrees. Okay. So again, be careful as you're going through this. You set up your net torque. You have one unknown force. Solve for the force. Go back, double check what the question asks. Asks us to solve for angle. So look carefully at the trigonometry and Use your sign relationship to get an angle of 43.